What's the most down bad thing you've done out of pure horniness? I made my girlfriend have a seizure during dinner with her parents. My girlfriend is a jackrabbit. Not because she has big teeth or is very pale and has rather hairy legs, but because this woman can do the deed five times a day. It is great. I wake up to some neck. I go to sleep to some neck and even got some neck while dropping a dookie once. On top of that, when we are getting down and dirty, she has a collection of toys you can only find in Davy Jones's locker. It is outrageous. She will use ropes, whips, and every other object you could ever think of. This woman reaches the finish line more than an experienced runner and when she does, her body loses control. I once thought she was having a seizure, but nope. Turns out I held her on the brink for too long and she erupted, splashing her fluid all over my face in the bed. However, there is always one problem. I work 10 hour days. So she is away from me for those 10 hours and struggles to contain herself from sending me explicit photos throughout the day. I am suffering from success. Last Saturday we had just finished going 4 rounds when she slumped down sulking, telling me that she was so sad when I was not home because nobody was there to make her cream and pass out on the floor until drooling. She's special. One day, she smiled at me excitedly and told me to check out what she had found. She was holding up a picture of a toy that can be controlled remotely through an app. She damn near blew my ear off, can we get it? Can we get it? I'll give you morning neck every day. To which I replied, don't you already? She sheepishly nodded and said please. I went online during my break at work and thought I would surprise her with the toy she so desired to get, the Flamingo. As I came home from work, I showed her the notification that the product was on its way. She got so excited that she gave me neck there and then. And this time I could feel the passion through every slobber. We thought of a plan. A master one. She would wear it to work and I would control it from home. Little did she know I would hold her on the brink the whole day. I told her no matter what, she was not allowed to finish the job herself. She walks into work and calls me telling me I can start whenever. So I start with periodic couple second bursts every 10 minutes. An hour later I got a call from her. You're killing me. I know, I reply. You know the rules. I hang up and go back to it. Three hours later she called me. I'm going to die. Please. Once again I tell her no. In total, 8 painful hours for her. Later she comes home. She wobbles in like a penguin and collapses, begging me to end her suffering. The kicker is I remind her about dinner with her parents in 2 hours. She panics and runs up to get dressed. All while I control her and keep her on the brink with short bursts. Two hours later we get to the parents' house and her makeup is already slightly messed up due to her tears from the pent-up frustration. We get in and her parents notice something is wrong. And while she talks, I zap her with it for a second at a time. I felt like Harry Potter with a magic wand. She somehow convinces them she is okay, which I do not know how she did, considering she was slurring her speech and squirming her legs. We sit down to eat and during the conversation. The parents ask about our relationship, the job, the usual stuff. She looks at me every time with puppy eyes as I zap her for a second or two every few minutes. 90 minutes after we sit down to eat. The parents are deeply concerned as by now the woman has been acting. Periodically they ask her one more time if she's okay. I respond for her, saying she is okay, she just needs to be released. I turn the toy on to maximum power and hold it. A few seconds later, she falls from her chair and starts screaming. Not a bedroom scream, a full-on scream. Her legs twitch and she starts to rattle like she's having a seizure. At this point, her father calls the ambulance and starts talking to the operator on the other end of the line about his daughter having a seizure. As he is talking, she erupts. Her fluids ended up draining her clothes, draining the table, spraying the father and the mother, and even getting it on some of the leftover turkey. We stood there in shock, except for my girlfriend, who rolled around on the floor, tears running down, makeup messed up, spazzing out, making inaudible noises. I apologize to the parents and let them know this was indeed my fault before picking her up over my shoulder and carrying her out. Needless to say, we haven't spoken to the parents since. And even though she was not happy with her strained bond with her parents, she was quite pleased with how powerful the outcome was.